It's black and there's no fingerprints. <laughs> right, exactly. No reflections. You can't see yourself. I'm I'm worry my I like Do you want to try that one? Yeah. Yeah, you got to check the hair off. I'd love to try that. There we go. Yeah, I got the intro. Are you live? Yeah. Is there anyone in here? Just <laughs> oh, live. Just turned on. Beans live. Welcome live now to Johnny Beans live. Just see anybody on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this yeah. electrophonic made in Electrophonic. USA. Yeah. Single pickup. It's got a custom tremolo right design on it. Custom right arm cuts that are Wood, California. super comfortable. Really slick plane. Johnny's yeah. going to show you how slick it is. Yeah, those are those are going to retail in around seven with the tremolo. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's made cool. in the US. That's fast. Seven thousand. Hundred. <laughs> I know it feels the like it's worth a thousand bucks. I know. Seven this is the man, the maker. Right. One of them. One of them. Jan or Jan. Jan. So, are you originally? Is your family from like uh, somewhere where they would call it Jan? Uh, no, not really. I'm always curious about people's heritage because I have a interesting yeah. heritage. It looks like a meteorite. You can steal it and not leave any fingerprints. It looks like a carved meteorite. <laughs> there you go. No fingerprints. Except wow. on the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah. True. Cool. Where, where are we? Where are we at? We're at Electron... I already said we're at the Electrophonic... Uh, Electrophonic, <laughs> Electrophonic Factory. Innovations. Ja EP Jan guitars. here and, and, and Andy. What's up, Andy? <clears throat> Two thirds of the yeah, of the uh, two crew here. Of the crew, right on, man. You guys got an awesome place here. Check out this room. This is home. This is where they shoot it's all their stuff. You see the camera set up. Look at yeah. that nice, <laughs> little, <laughs> nice little mic yeah, there. It's, it's, it's cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Wait, you see the double cut away the word right there. Same the the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. It's totally. The rock and roll. Got a bunch of different amps in here to test things through. Look at that Marshall over there. More than I have. We got Studio Logic keyboard here. Jan is actually a keyboard player. Me. But he decided to build guitars. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested yeah, in that right? kind of thing. Yeah. You guys know about this crazy guitar that uh, Steve Vai had built by Ibanez, right? The oh, Hydra. Yeah, I the was... Hydra. Yeah. I saw him live. I, I got the shirt, but I have these crazy plans to uh, make an EVH version of it. Oh, <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> I know, it's kind of nuts. It's kind of idea. A dual? Yeah, so actually two. Three. Three. You guys, Jan was on my channel uh, a couple years ago and was, was showing us these guitars. I got to, I got to play them at the NAMM show and they're, they're pretty incredible. Yeah, this was one of the early ones where you can still see the body split. The way that we, that, we used is, to make them. Is that the one that Andy Summers played? No, Andy has a. Uh, I think he, I know he's there's like, a, he has a pine top. I think he has a okay. pine top. This is uh, the original one, the very first one that Joe built. Very cool. wow. He kept making them and showing me like his prototypes, and finally, when he made this one, I says, "Now we're there. Now we can that make guitars." That looks so familiar. That looks like something I might have seen. Yeah, we we had some. It's been in some articles, yeah. yeah but it was pretty much. Been, uh, it must have been in the magazine or something. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Dang. But it's got a one watt transistor amp in it and a little echo. And, wow. oh, oh, look at this. This is one of my favorite oh. drums that we make. Oh, that's that it. Is. That is. That is. So this is the same uh, so cool. coating on the outside, except tinted red. Oh, look at that. Mm. And look at those yeah. bitchin' knobs, and they just yeah. fucking. I love those big knobs. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> that's awesome. This is one of my favorites. 
Is that, is that back on the yeah, rack? Got a lot of I didn't even see that one. That plain maple. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. These are sick. Hey guys. Let's feel it. Can you oh, put your hands on it. Check that out. Oh yeah. Is that like a battery? Oh, look how smooth oh, that is. Look. That feels like it's almost like an oil. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We haven't mastered that part yet. But. Hey, Dan. Hey, Zach. Hey, Janice. Yeah, so, so, so you guys, so these guitars. Here, I'll set it What it does is. Let me, let me get it. Strap on, strap off. Strap on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. good. This good is Joe. Good. The, 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 the strap on, strap off. Yeah, that's the Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My show on YouTube. It's the clapper movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with them. Um, yeah, we did the. Remember, we did a show. <laughs> I think we did it from my house. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we did it a while ago. It was a while. I remember. Here you go, Bob. Looks a little long. So cool. So you just you just <laughs> plug it in. Well, no, you don't plug it in. See, there's no plug. Or you can if you want to plug headphones in, or if you if you want to go into an amp, you can, right? So that's the thing. Yeah, there's a jack. There's a jack. So and all the effects, the, uh, the chorus and the delays, all the wow. right echo. There. All the yeah. effects are right built there. Built-in effects. Cool. You got built-in like overdrive right there. Push above. Different button. channels. I mean, it's right. your whole front end. Everything right here, two yeah, yeah. two built-in cool. speakers. Yeah. Right there. Awesome knobs. Big knobs. Big knobs. Like big knobs. We all like big knobs. knobs. <laughs> Listen to that. No, those last. Do you, do yeah. you hear that? Right here. The Echo. effect. The delay yeah. is up here. We'll see if that's turning. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's turning. Listen to that. Yeah, turn on the will fit with just these three screws. You just take that oh, off, wow. put it on. That's, so you can, so you can switch, switch on any time. Exactly. Yeah, that is so cool, man. 
Wow. I That's like assuming that. five minutes. Uh, That's cool. These are, these are sub thousand dollar guitars, you guys. Well, these aren't right with the effects. What? How much is that one? Yeah, it's about 1200. Okay, that makes sense because you got to have the, yeah. Show the inside of there. Show them. You see. So here's the switch for the, you know, gain channel. So you got two channel guitar here. <laughs> By the way, the, 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 all the effects yeah, run with, with, without the preamp. So you can oh, have like cool. delay and chorus on the clean. Oh, nice. Yeah, try yeah. that. So you can switch. Yeah. Go ahead and play and that. And then you switch to the, the lead and it's yeah, the, the what you can change up your effects so they're different, right? Nice. So this doesn't have the built-in effect. No, that's called Mondo. The Mondo. The Mondo. Mondo. Very cool. Very beautiful. Metallic blue. <laughs> fun, blue. right? Man. Very cool. Feedback. They're definitely fun, man. Wow, look at that. Nice. Nice gold color, too. And that's cool. Laser card, the card tip. This is all I do. This is type of stuff. But I have to have like a billion things. This is like everything. Well, you can think it out this way. Yeah, that's your sound, Johnny, right there. Slow the speed down here. That's oh, crazy, so you guys. There's a death of speed. You guys, speed. you don't need amps Watch anymore. That. You can just buy one of these guitars. It's got the effects built in. The effects, amp, and everything built in that one guitar for $1,200. Where do you find that? Hey, turn off the yellow one. And you'll Look hear at the, the colors. Oh, I, I hear it. Mono, I hear it. Of course. Yeah. Put your head up there. Both ears. Both Base. ears? No, both ears. No, straight. Front. Straight well, no, just stand up, stand up, stand up. Just stand right there. Listen. Oh, I love it. Hit the stereo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we might be able to get that on there because yeah. I think there's two mics. They're both on the top on one side. Yeah. Ask them if they can hear that. Well, no, you'd have to do it like this. this. Like, like this. Yeah. Plug it into an amp if you want to plug into an amp. The effects are built right in. I mean, but you could play it with your pedals too if you want your own pedal sounds. I mean, 
What's not to like? I'm ready to jam. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me, give you, let me give you the tour, you guys. You want to yeah, we're right? gonna do a factory yeah. tour. Yeah, let's do that. What a great room, too. Now you, know what they you guys must have a lot of fun here. How do you get any work done? <laughs> right? You guys, you guys work. Did you oh, yeah, I met him, Joe. Yeah. Joe? Yeah. Well, just now. What, what band were yeah. you in? I was in a band called Warrior. He was in Warrior. Warrior. We used to talk about your, his band all the time wow, on the okay. Tuesday show years oh, wow. ago. Years ago. Huh? Yeah, we did an 80s metal show. And we always talked about, about your band. Oh, we got to check that band and out. And every time that band would come up, I'd say, I remember Joe from Electrophonic Guitars. Wow. <laughs> so I would say that all the time. So the, the inspiration came from your own like need to like want to have a guitar that you can play wherever you are, right? Like, yeah, I like kind of I had a dream and, and I was playing yeah. it, a, ah. a guitar without an amp, and, and it was just really fun and it kind of haunted me, and so we just kept going. <laughs> cool. You know, I was in Budapest this last summer and I actually was trying to set up a little rig to do what I was going to call my busking in Budapest thing, and I was going to like <laughs> be walking down the chain bridge <laughs> playing the guitar, and I got this really cool Red Gretsch Bono signature guitar that I gave to my cousin who's now living there. And I was, I got it all set up with like this mini Laney amp and I had a, a looper that I bought at a local store and I, I had it off of a little battery kind of thing and I was, I could do it like, you know, no problem. Now the that thing, that, bus could yeah, been real well, the, the whole idea is just to be out in some beautiful place like that. Like Sedona is another favorite place of mine in Arizona that I've always wanted to got, like go up into the subway caves there over go. there, they call them. And, and you can just go take your guitar with you and just like play out there and it would be like the coolest so, scene, you know, right? Yeah. yeah, dude, what an awesome dream come true. I want to go so find a canyon and get some natural reverb going. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, so I'm going to turn this one on. Oh, yeah, good <laughs> Come on, we'll go. How, last, how long do the batteries last? Uh, you can play at least eight hours on, on, a, on a charge. It's usually longer. But if you're playing, if you're playing, you know, full yeah. preamp on and so jamming, it's eight hours. Do a show and not worry about it at all. And, yeah. you know, Dan, it's, Dan, it's called Electrophonic yeah, Guitars. Yeah. You can, like, you know, but yeah, it's not, it's not a close call. Do a gig thing. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. And then just charge your own back. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, uh, there's, there's one of Andy. <laughs> there he is. I love the I remember when Fender first came out. Andy Summers. Uh, That's how I heard of you guys first. Oh, and Sammy. Yeah. The Sandman. Oh, the Sandman. <laughs> yeah, that's the one right there. That one, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. That was a pine top. Yeah, yes, yeah, so here's some new ones. I used to work at Sammy's place up in Roseville. Oh, cool. that's where Andy's from. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they know we know they know it from there. Oh, right. Yeah, this is uh, uh, this is here's this is my office here. It's kind of a mess, but uh, this is here. I'll show you the double cutaway version. Wow, I like that too. See, this is the first one. Now we we just cut our second one of these, and I just cut a new neck that I've got to do some fine tuning on. But that's our inline neck. Mm -hmm. Just getting this one's a uh, wall. No, is that mahogany? But uh, we're working on it. Working on it. Yeah, here's here's the net. Just doing some. Yeah, that neck's cool. I like that neck a lot. Wow. There's my, my montage. Oh, there's yours. My <laughs> little montage. And oh, and you accordion got accordion for accordion uh, emergencies. There. Nice camera too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's okay. I, I like my iPhone. Oh, yeah? I swear to God, I love it. And I actually, you know, I like this. What is that, a little Zoom or something? It's a, uh, it's a, little I forget the name of it, Omni Pro or Omni, uh, you know, and so it's shock absorber and it's pretty high res. Wow. It's real handy. It's a camera? Yeah, Vi oh. video. And, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but this thing is, uh, this is our new... Here's, I cut this one yesterday, the first one. Nice. See, there's a lot of room in here. You can put some electronics. And we've punched it. We've pre-punched, so if you want to add some controls, you can add two more knobs and a, a switch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
We're pretty stoked on this thing. And that's where our, that's how we fit our plate. You know, the, the ball end of the string fits in here. The plate goes down or the tremolo goes down, like in this case, and you can switch them, switch them out instantly. Wow. Virtually. Nice design. Nice cap. Yeah. yeah. History to maintain. We can be fresh, you know? That's true. That's a good way to look at it. Sure. You know, we don't have any bad wow. habits to continue or, or traditions. Oh, I mean, we kind of no boundaries, really. I mean, do what you want yeah. to do and do it the way you want to do it. it we sort of, like, we sort of yeah. painted ourselves yeah. into that corner, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's a good corner to be in, though. That sounds like a good spot to be cool. in. Cool. I like the design of the guitars, the bodies, the body shape's awesome. Thanks. I think it's a really cool product. That's, that's my favorite thing. Oh, wow. That's a Ricky Ricky That's an old Ricky. Beautiful panda. I, I, I started playing it for, you know, about six months going, I could be practicing the piano. <laughs> And be out of my element. Hey, check some of these out. Keep up, you know, and it's like it's something like this. I could just play with. And is the nut made of like a tusk kind of a thing? Or What's that? Like what kind of nut material you guys It's a graphite. It's a graphite, yeah, yeah, like a tusk nut kind of thing or something. But you guys cut your own. That's right? like, uh, I don't yeah. remember the glass, but I think it's like some burl, bird's burl, eye yeah. uh, maple or something. Bird's eye or burl maple? Yeah. Burl? Yeah, it's kind of yeah, bird's eye. It's nice. pretty cool. We're very nice. This is very, very cool. Yeah, I think that one too. Come on, blue. Yeah, scratch resistant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and inch resistant. <laughs> See, this one's got more weight. It's it's and just the wood, you know. It's crazy how right. they differ. Yeah, you know, poplars sure. all yeah. different genesis. It's yeah. the same wood on all yeah, right. guitars. We do variations yeah, on the tremolo too. I don't know. You saw this one's black. Yeah, yeah. And then here's yeah, the that. chrome with the black springs. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. You guys know we build the tremolos, right? Mm -hmm. And this has got a fatter neck too. So this is Might have been one of the. Well, yeah, we have we had a few different runs. A lot smaller, just. That's it. Yeah. It took a while to really get consistent. And even even that, you know, you can walk up to a wall of fenders and they're yeah. all slight. Yeah, I know, yeah. This is just, just more, the way, you know, it's wood. That rounder kind of thing. <laughs> Less polished. Oh, and what's got me yeah, is that more than you can keep up with an acoustic yeah, yeah. player. I, I, right. I can't get over that. It's like, it's a game changer, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, the, 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 the campfire will never be the same. I mean, seriously, it'll like never that be kind of stuff. Don't have camping and just practicing all. It's, yes, it's. Yeah, I always have to take my Black Star Fly Mini. I, I was gonna bring it this week. You should, see, you should see the board that's in his oh, car. Oh yeah, I, I mean, your board too. I have a board like this big in his car. He's uh, never used it. He's brought it. Well, look, look, look in here in Joe's office. Okay. Yeah. This is where we. This is why we're where we are now. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's yeah. pretty crazy back in the days. Oh, yeah. you, you know, we've been through it. Yeah, all this cool stuff. Those are cool. You got Edward. Oh, yeah, we were at this thing last night with Neil Zosauer. Oh, yeah. With Neil and with Steve Rosen. Oh, right. Steve uh, used to interview Eddie back in the 80s. He did all the. And he just he just came out with a new book, and he did he did oh, a, so he was promoting. The he book. did a book signing at Book Soup in Hollywood. Oh, so that's where you were. So we were there last nice. night, and that's his Lozauer, right there. Wow. Neil Lozauer took that photo. Yeah, that's great wow. photo. Yeah. You can tell the guitar player in the game. Yeah. I got a picture of Dr. John on my wall. You know. <laughs> wow. Awesome. This was from uh, our very, one of our first attempts. It was a, uh, we built the original one out of layers, each one this thick. Yeah, yeah we were with, uh, we were with Grover Jackson. He, he had us, uh, he helped us. He said, I'm not gonna design it for you. So just egg slice your design and we'll cut each layer by itself. So we cut 18 layers on MDF and glued it together and just warped like a bitch. Mm-hmm. 
But then we tried it out of some plywood and got that one that you saw, that white one out there. It actually came out. And, uh, you know, maybe we've learned how to do 3D. Mm -hmm. Pink burst. Pink burst. Look at this. This is a. Got a uh, Roland. Uh... Thank you. you oh, yeah. Mind. Even, yeah, even more. Well, the GK thing over the yeah. Window, yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of being wireless, but it, it does work cool. Wow. Wow. If you're sitting on your couch. I used to have one of those, and yeah, I used it for like synthesizer stuff. And... Did, you, did you ever hear of uh, 360 <coughs> systems? 360 systems synthesizer, uh, guitar synthesizers? No. Back in the day, probably before you were Why'd born. Why'd you have to wander out this yeah. way? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've been here about not, not quite two years. Just uh, from our old place, which was just it was just about six, about a mile two from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we'll go all the way back. Now we're, we're right in the middle of a, a leak. Everything's leaking. Uh, you know, so we were having some flooding issues. So we have some leaks here and stuff, cleaning them all up. But this is where we make them, you know, we make our guitars, our necks, we build our own fixtures for them, as you can see, different fixtures. Like I'll make necks on here, make uh, that necks on there, bodies. And we have two machines running usually, but because of the flooding, one of our dust collectors got wet. Oh, got wet? So we got to let it dry out, so we're holding the machines. And it's kind of a holding pattern here. In fact, yeah, yeah, we yeah. This is, this is a killer machine. Yeah, killer machine. And uh, Viper, yeah, CNC. Viper. Yeah. yeah, this company. And then they made this is our first machine. Watch your step here. Because that was our first machine. We. Uh, and we still use, I mean, we make bodies and everything on this thing. It's great. Fretboards, uh, the necks, yeah, actually everything. Now we're starting to cut uh, the, the uh, we're going to cut the pick guards on here too. Okay, wow. And the headstock uh, the icon. The emblem you know. thing, yeah. yeah, the emblems. Yeah, okay. we're, we're shut down because of the rain right now. They, we, we had some leaks, so we I don't know, rain today. Uh, don't really okay. run the stuff right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because wow. of leaks. It's, you know, where it leaks, everywhere there's a, a, like there, there, and there. It didn't yeah. before. I know. It was a big rain. Yeah, yeah this is a big rain. Do you see our engine where we dry out the next? Oh, yeah, no, not yet. Let's, let's go in there. It's kind of cool. This stuff right now. It's a real mess in here. The necks, the woods that we have. Mm -hmm. Some of these beautiful woods. You know, custom, some custom stuff. And then uh, we have these here. Uh, different uh, hunks of wood that are going to be custom shop stuff. There's also mahogany. There's some poplar back there uh, for our bases, for the for the base design, which is coming along. And then uh, bad examples. <laughs> Somehow they'll work. But uh, yeah, that's some nice, beautiful, beautiful stuff. You know, who the hell knew? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, look at these three, three stripe. In fact, they've got a few more of those I know they were working on. And I'll show you outside here. We're going to need a steady temperature, you know. Oh, yeah, you got to get the heat right on those where they, where they, where they sprout. Mm -hmm. You know, you get fret sprout. Yeah, so there's, here, here's a bunch of... Uh, these are for some new bodies. <laughs> some uh, composite. Actually, they'll probably end up as, on the back of painted bodies. So you don't see it. Mm -hmm. That's what they were doing. 
but uh, yeah, fixtures. You know, everything here is vacuum. Vacuum. Oh, the hole down is vacuum. We don't use clamps. Everything's just vacuum and things. Looks great. Wow. Yeah. So then, then they uh, they progress to here. We build them in half, you know, as I was saying. We make tops and bottoms. There's a top before it gets processed. Channel for uh, tone, you know, those things all get dealt with. So here's some bottoms. Oh, this is this is some experimental stuff. Yeah, but they 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 all get uh, all, on the old ones. We cut them flat and then they hand bevel them. They, all the edges are all hand done, except for except for stuff like that. And then uh, oh, there's our press. This is how we uh, glue five necks at a time. You know, with the putting the fretboards on them, and we do bodies on on this one. Because you have to pancake them. Mm -hmm. And then they come to this level where they're getting uh, getting pre prepped for, for paint. Mm. A lot of work goes in there. Yeah. All hands hot. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> That's Dash. Hey. Plays in a great band with hey. one of the other guys here. Good to meet you. The band's called Strawberry Fuzz. They're playing at the Troubadour on the 17th. Oh, Killer cool. band. Killer band. And quite a fine craftsman. He buffs it to a fine Martin Sheen. <laughs> and, uh... They're, they're really detailing. You, got, you have to. People are extremely persnickety. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so here, let's I like the hand sculpting because you know, the machine's get us like kind of halfway there, mm -hmm. but then the handwork. The handwork it drives it home. And that's what really makes it special. Yeah, These guys are all hand sculpting. Mm -hmm. My, my mm -hmm. grandfather and my uncle had a door company, and I did the. Oh. I finished work there a lot. So you know. They used to say to me that you're making it too perfect, Lab. Well, you know, they're all like too. If nice you don't make it perfect, it won't take. To paint. me, it's like it's to me, it's like an art thing. You know, you gotta. Yeah. It won't take the paint right if you don't yeah. get it smooth yeah, enough. Yeah, you have to get it really nice and smooth. Yeah. But I still do some of that work. Yeah, and even this. I mean, look at that. There's a. There was a might have yeah, been a ding. Ding or something. They it. Hopefully, that will be a burst, and you won't see it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's how that happens. And then they get uh, come to this room. Oh, you know these guys. I know that. I actually I know, know that guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Top wow. and, and that's how I remember you. Yeah, that's right. Because you, <coughs> I used to work with him in the studio. Yeah. Explain real quickly. What did you do? Yeah, I uh, we cut his album Charmed Snakes. Yeah. At my studio. He was my first that's his, client that's when I his built first that solo, studio. Well, actually, that's his second solo record. Right. It was right when he was uh, uh, leading the band for Dennis Miller's show. He became the band leader. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they were playing all this cool, that. progressive yeah, then, stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. And assembly is done right now. Chris is just dialing in these necks. Chris is in the band with Dash. Not sure. Hey, you guys yeah, it. check this out. Good. We're hand drilling the holes. A lot of hand work. 
Ready to go? Beauty. Oh, let's, let's see that fretboard. Wow. That's a wild fretboard. Wow. Why not? Awesome. And then here's, uh, here's our laser that we cut all of our plastic parts. You know, the, right now we're, we're cutting the pick guards and stuff on here, but we're going to be doing it on the CNC as soon as we uh, get back. Running. Yeah, a lot of styles here, a lot of materials for the different uh, drill cloths. We got pre build stuff that's in process. And then this, look at this one. This is, this is something new. It's kind of a love and knife color. I think we call it orange first. Orange first. So you guys are going to burst? I don't know what that's called. Yeah. It's like the talent. Yeah, it's called. Yeah. Maybe. I forget what we call that. The talent commission. I'm not sure, but this is going to be a nice pick card. Look at that. Burnt orange, too. Yeah, the pick card's really cool. Yeah. So we carved these on the laser behind you. Look at this one. Beautiful hobby horse. This is a nice painted headstock. Yeah, looks really sweet. It's kind of, you know, yeah, man, Ricky kind of. Hey, Majestic. Vibe, not quite. Robbie, Janice. Yeah, with the striped on the ESP kind of, not quite. Yeah, I like the headstock. It's hard to do, there's only so many shapes. <laughs> and this is the <laughs> that you're allowed to do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why there's a gate. <laughs> this, this reminds me of your stuff. Oh wow! This this guy's not here today. He's he's reined in. Mm -hmm. A very very talented builder. And then uh, a couple of other things. This is like some fine tuning areas where we do, you know, real specific stuff, custom stuff, custom shop stuff, uh, different parts, different builds. We do uh, 3D printing, we print the parts. Uh, I don't have anything in there right now, but that's the printer. This is where we paint our in house stuff. Hey, it didn't leak. <laughs> no, that uh, gets it out of here. They spray everything in here. We do the dillos in here. We do the uh, some of our uh, bursts. Nice. Yeah, see here, they're prepped before they get their dilloing. Silver. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice one. Oh, that's got a little pin on it. Well, that's the way you guys shoot it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where we shoot the uh, dillos. Mm. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, it's uh, a learning process, but you know, yeah, we, right? we, we, we've been doing it. Very cool. I never thought we'd be building these. <laughs> you know, building hangers and everything. So you got this guy building guitars. Right? Yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's cheap too. Cheap. <laughs> he appears in a lot of videos. A lot of our videos, he appears in. And that's pretty much it, you know. Other than the storage and uh, what else? We got a little buffing area around here. Oh, this. Oh, you didn't see the tremolos. Look at this. Oh, look at that. How they uh, prep them. We designed this tremolo ourselves. There, there's the finished ones. Yeah, they're. Oh, look at these. Uh, All right. When I started, you actually got that under. Yeah, that looks like beautiful. And then they do some where they distress them. 
you know, and they look all relic down there. Pretty yeah, cool. But, uh, uh, raw ones. Very trez. And that's pretty much the goods here. Really lock them in better and stuff like that. So amazing. Awesome. You want to go back and play that uh, M1 yeah, a little yeah, bit? Absolutely. Get a vibe on it? Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm not looking at the clock. Yeah. 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 We're, go we're driving back up to oh, East yeah. Bay today, and supposedly the weather up there is like way worse yeah, 100 mile an hour than down here. Yeah. I have like flooding where I live and all kinds of stuff. Where's your cat? Oh, he's at home. He's cool. Okay. Ned. Yeah, yeah. Well, t you know, if you want to check one of my outfits. They're, they're just fun. They're really fun. Wow. See, you guys have animals here? Too? Normally we do, but they're all out today. We normally have three dogs here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rosie and then uh, the two the two crazies. But uh, yeah, you sure you don't want a coffee or something? Actually, yeah. yeah. What, what do you? Yeah. Something not too strong. Yeah, I'll get your cup. I've got a latte in the car. But hey, you guys, hey, Robbie. Robbie, this is cool, huh? You guys, I talk about these guitars all the time, and we actually plan to do, what was it, last, last NAM, I was gonna come over here, but couldn't make it. But yeah, these guitars, are, they're so cool. Built-in amplifiers, built-in built effects. Uh oh, he's, he's jamming back here. So many colors. Go catch a good demo on the M1. talking to people on here oh. yeah you can actually plug this in just to a regular amp and stuff but it has it built in but you, you don't need a lamp with it it has <laughs> it's built in it's, it's stereo
Hawaiian gold metallic. <laughs> That's a cool color, huh? Is that just a hint of green I see in that? Is, is that what the mine? Well, it's like a hint of some, some other color in there that I'm seeing. Well, the, the paint, they, they actually went... Uh, it looks cool. You have to uh, Chichen Itza and oh, yeah. harvested the gold. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool, man. Because sometimes the golds come off as too yellow to me. You know, sometimes they, they're just like, it's like, why not just have a natural guitar if you're going to go yellow? But that's like, it's got that yeah, little, little yeah. something else the to yellow, it. The yellow, the green. The... Yeah, that's got it all. I like that. And then and the, the uh, coarseness of the flake is just right. It's not too, like, like a speedboat, but it's not too, you know. Yeah. It's just the right thing. No, that's a good point. <laughs> You see some people get the big old flakes on there, but it's like, that, yeah. you know, it's a little overboard, if you ask me. And the grill club, it's got a little... I saw those, I think that's a, such a cool touch. Yeah. It's Good like a, a vintage uh, Fender type grill club. What do you yeah. do with that guitar that Phil X played? That, uh, that was the... Uh, do we sell that? No, what's the... Uh, Andy Apple Red. Yeah, where'd it go? I haven't seen it. I think we sold it. Must have. <laughs> Or it might be it might be M2 right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just sold our 500th guitar yesterday. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, We're wow. pretty proud of that. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. yeah, thanks. 500, wow. Actually, 501. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you live, Johnny? Man. I'm in Santa Cruz. Oh, man, you're getting destroyed right now. I know. Fuck. Maybe we won't go back. Because <laughs> actually, I have to drive. Do you, do you know East Bay? Do you know? You like, drive 17? I, yeah, I take 17 twice a week. Yeah, and I'm going past, like, he, he's in Sacramento. Mm. And our friend Laz here is in, he's in Livermore. Right. So, and I, we both parked, well, I parked in Livermore. So I have to go, he's going to, my car, I have to go all the way back down to Santa Cruz. Wow. Yeah, wow. so. Now I'm gonna have to take 17. And yeah, it's wet out there. 17 is no fun. No. You just drive. <laughs> oh, I've, I, I had a car one time driving. This I'm driving this way. They're coming this way. They hit the medium, right. Like if that wasn't there, they would hit me head on. Oh shit. There was like sparks flying over onto my side and everything. Oh, wow. People drive crazy on that. It's thing. Ugly. It's yeah. Ugly. I like Santa Cruz. Oh, that's a great place. Once you get there, it's awesome. <laughs> 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 there's water that's <laughs> just going right, destroying the uh, yeah. Yeah. You saw on the news all those funny. houses on the front are all just getting pushed yeah, back and everything. Yeah. Wiped out. Yeah. One of our luthiers is can't get out of his house today. Oh man. Aaron, he's, he's, there's so much water he actually can't open the door yet. I'm just rush in. Jeez. It's a lot of water out there. Man, it's crazy. Montecito, yes. they totally evacuated too. Oh, really? Yeah, like the whole town. I was talking to Chris oh, over there, the guy that does the fret work, and he's a super cool made. guy, and oh, yeah. he kind of just gave me a little rundown on how to do fret work, and it was, that was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I got it. Yeah, cool guy. He's a killer at his job. He was just showing me how he does certain things on how to do the fret work. And, He's got it figured out, <laughs> for sure. You talking about Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was when we were at the old shop and we did a, a pod thing or whatever with uh, Rick Hollis and you were uh -huh. you were also on that one, right? And we were- I don't know, but I, I know, who, I, I, th I've, I think I met him one time, yeah. Yeah, no, Rick's, I think Rick's it was like a guy. conference or whatever. It was like a, what do you call it, a Zoom? A Zoom thing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta get him back here. <laughs> wow. So do you come down here like regularly or? Uh, usually for Nam. Usually here. Uh, we came down for a uh, there, there was a book event at Book Soup in Hollywood. Um, Steve Rosen, if you know Steve, he wrote for Guitar Guitar World back in the eighties all the yeah, time. Yeah. He did all the major Eddie Van Halen cover stories. He just released a new book on on Eddie. So he, so he was doing a book signing, book reading last night. Oh, nice. 
hey, when uh, Niels Lozauer was there too, you know, photographer. And <laughs> so we were, we were hanging out with them last night. And yeah, that was super cool. He was just talking about the book and about Eddie and about, you know, his relationship with him and stuff. Oh, and, awesome. Uh, talk, took a Hollywood? couple. Could, took a couple, yeah, Hollywood, took a couple excerpts from the book and read it to us, and it just kind of opened up for questions, let people talk, you know, ask what they wanted to ask. And, That's cool. Yeah, yeah, and I asked him about Wolfgang a little bit, see, you know, what he, what his thoughts were on Wolfgang and his, his role and what, uh, what he's going to do going forward, you know, because I'm, that's, I'm excited to see what Wolf ends up doing. You know, obviously mm -hmm. the band thing, but, yeah, it's all the Eddie's potential. son. And that's what he said, he's like, he has all the potential. Edward's son, but. He's got his own band now. He's doing yeah. doing his yeah. own stuff. Yeah, I know. He's trying real hard to do the right stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of his already. Yeah, we went and saw him up in Sacramento with Dirty Honey, and they killed yeah. it. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, he totally he stole the show. He was like way too big for the room kind of thing. It was like a really small venue, and he was just killing it. Mm -hmm. Just That's on great. his on his game. It was fun. Happy Paul. Good. Yeah, I hope he stays on it the way he is, because man, I think he can be special. And not here he is, but... He plays bass, right, most of the time? Uh, he's playing guitar. Is he playing guitar? Yeah, yeah he's playing guitar. He's going to be coming out with a signature guitar, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he, he played bass in Van Halen. Okay. The past uh, 15 years or so. Past like three tours, he was with Van Halen, he played bass. Uh -huh. And then Michael Anthony came in, or somebody like that. Hmm? Did Michael Anthony join the band at some point? Uh, he, he's been playing with Sammy Hagar. Uh, yeah, I know you did, yeah. Yeah, who well, I saw, you guys have a, a poster of Sammy with, with one. Yeah, you yeah. guys got Sammy and one. Sammy's yeah. been good to us. He's a good man. He, uh, he bought one, about two of our earliest guitars. Uh-huh. He he's, he's been playing them. He's a good guy. Wow. He's got a son that plays too, Andrew. Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. I've never met him, but I was invited to a show of his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to work directly under his other son, Aaron. What's Aaron. that? I used to work directly under Aaron Hagar. Okay. When I was at the restaurant, so I used to talk, you know, BS with him all the time about guitars. This is a restaurant in Sacramento? In, Sacto or in, in Roseville. Yeah, yeah, Sacramento. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was there for a little bit, and he was one of the managers there, and we just, we were always bullshit about music and food and whatever. He's a real nice guy. I have a lot of respect for him. He's a real nice guy. Yeah, he lives up in Tahoe. And uh, I lived up in Tahoe for a little bit too and you know, kind of reconnected with, uh, not him, but uh, Sammy was up there and met him up in Tahoe one time and said hi and stuff. He's Joe and I delivered a private guitar golf to course. him. Nice. To Sammy? To Sammy. In Jeez. <laughs> where was that? That was somewhere in Orange County. He had a big house. Huh? That house where we took the guitar to for Sammy. Was oh, it Dana, uh, Point? Dana Point? Dana Point. Yeah. Yeah. You jammed with him for I saw Van Halen play way back in the day before they got signed. They t were play playing at, at the Whiskey. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, you know, playing everything off that first album. Yeah. And I was from San Diego and uh, friends with Rob Crosby from Rap. Oh, cool. We were buds, you know, grew up in the same uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. And so he was like, oh man, you got to check out Van Halen. And I'm like, who? What kind of weird name is that? You know? He's like, no, no oh. you got to check him out. And I'm like, okay, I'll go with you. And so, you oh my know, gosh. I drove up and, and So this was Diego, before the first record? Where there was a music scene there. And, you know, I felt like I was kind of reaching a level it, it, in that music scene, right? But then seeing Van Halen all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> this is where it's, where it's at. Truthfully, that's how it was when I met, we saw Orianthe at uh, Norm's uh, Rare Guitars last time we were here in LA. And I walked in, I didn't know, you know, it was her and I walked in and this chick's just shredding on the guitar. I'm just like, I suck, you know? It's like, <laughs> what the hell, man? This, yeah, this, girl's, this girl's killing me, you know? She's, and then, she's amazing. And then I, I sit there and just watch her play for like 40 minutes and she was just absolutely killing it. She's the female Stephen Ray Vaughan, you know? She's yeah. just destroying it. Really? <laughs> it's like, but it was just that moment though, you know, like, man, <laughs> who is this destroy <laughs> kicking my ass right now? <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody sent me a link of her playing Voodoo Child, 
Oh, yeah, and I was like all ready to hate on it, you know. Just like, oh, fuck, <laughs> yeah. you better not fuck this up. <laughs> so like, mind blowing, you know. Of course. Yeah, it was great. She, she killed it. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to hear that. So, yeah. but with Van Halen, so you saw them at the Whiskey before the first record, '77 or? First record. Seventy whatever. Five. Yeah, because the first record came out in seventy uh, Seven. eight. Seventy right? seven. Seventy seven. Um, so what did you think when you first saw Eddie? I mean, it was it just. Well, I, I I was just like, I mean, I hadn't been to L.A. and seen a lot of bands, uh, so I thought, you know, is this the the level of bands? I didn't know they were unique and you know destined for huge fame or anything. I just thought, wow, I'm sheltered, you know, from San Diego. I <laughs> had no idea. Gotta get out of San Diego. Yeah, and, <laughs> you know, they, they were so good, you know. I mean, Eddie, just, I mean, just like, you never saw anybody with a Strat, with a humbucker, wielding a whammy and tapping. That was unheard of, you know, so it was like the, the mind just exploded, you know. I grew up on Air Clapton and both his experimentation with amps and yeah, it's a transformer you know, versus striped, you know, guitar, and he's doing his fucking thing. And and Ed, uh, and Dave Lee Roth, you know, super fucking rock star front man, you know, it's just like, mm -hmm. wow. What's his brother's name? I bet that was a blast. Alex. Yeah, Alex. Dude, man, that was, what a cool story, dude. Holy shit. I would have loved to see Eddie back then. Man. Well, that would have been so I don't cool. know if you know the whiskey, but it, 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 you, you can kind of go backstage, right? There's a little stairway in the yeah. in the back. Yeah. And so, you know, I was pretty young and just said, oh, I got to go talk to these guys or something. <laughs> Went back there and Dave Roth, he's in his robe and he was so high because they just got signed, you know, so he was just like super electric. Excited, oh, we got signed, <laughs> It was a big deal, right? They were like the first band really to have a big Well, and here's, deal. honestly hearing Steve Rosen last night talk about Eddie, Eddie being a very kind of humble person, you know, them really breaking, I'm sure meant the world to him, you know? I'm sure it did, because the guy put his all into music, you know, so. God, that would have been so amazing to be back in that time, seeing him do his thing. Yeah, I miss him. I miss, you know, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of great people missing now, unfortunately. You know? Yeah, it's sad. But that's why, you know, try to learn. That's why I'm talking to a guy like Chris, you know, carry on all the stuff that, uh, that made music great, in my opinion. Uh oh, Jen's got the scent. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> I better go. I'm gonna go yeah. check this out. Check it out. <laughs> Finish this up. Oh, wow. oh, that was our design for the uh, here. Let me see it. 
for our uh, tremolo. That's the axle. And that was my original one for, that I did on the computer, and then the, he he had to make some adjustments. I did it by hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. cutaway here for your arm you know yeah you can rest and this is the other uh mondo oh yeah yeah, yeah. that was really cool you we were playing that single pickup rock yeah, this doesn't yeah. have the built-in stuff it's just a solid like, it's it's a regular guitar. guitar super cool it really works. Works. yeah awesome <laughs> Yeah, we should wear, wear that because if it's less than like that. this one is so cool looking with the white yeah. Fancy white. I think this is awesome. I think it's awesome. It's totally fretboard there. It's probably is. Really, really cool stuff. Yeah, so check these out. They make these guitars. It's definitely under seven. It's under seven. Or you can buy one of their regular models. Let me show you guys the original. My guess would be less than that. It's pretty balanced though. It's pretty balanced though. It's beautiful and functioning. This was that first one. Yeah, maybe 6.27 inches. <laughs> Somewhere in there. That's the nice. original prototype, do not touch. I wonder if they still turn on. Oh, wow. It still turns on. <laughs> so the lights are there. Oh, look at that. Is there, oh, my God. God. Are they charged? This one, they were batteries. Oh. New ones are chargeable? Eight hours. This is one of the original products. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll play the drums. Uh, a lot of guys here play something. Awesome. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> plays something. I, 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 oh, I wow. Play drums. I, I like that. I can't play drums. Yeah, yeah, I can't either. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming with us down this to the trip. This is something about this. You can't do it. No can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I've always liked that one. Yeah, Aaron was. Today. Joe plays and uh, here's Johnny Bean. Awesome. <laughs> there you are. Luckily, Incognito. Luckily, not everybody plays keyboards here. So. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to. So. Yeah, I, I my friends in the studio. I'll go there. So we're we're gonna be heading home today. So as far as I'm gonna probably buy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't hear that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> always reminding you the secret to tone is in your mind. But the feel comes from your heart. Put them together and rock on later. Thank you, guys. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Awesome. Thanks for having us. This was awesome. Yeah. This is... That'll be fun. That, that'll be uh, yeah, washable, yeah, right? Yeah, reviewable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. See you later, everybody. Oh, yeah, I will. I will.